Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a different sim. Today's sim is actually, today's simulator, sorry, is actually X Plane 11. And today's flight is a flight from Nairobi's Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to Kisumu International Airport. The aircraft for today is the mighty 737-800. Kenya was normally don't operate this aircraft to Kisumu, but I just thought I have seen it come to Kisumu a few times so I thought I might as well do a video with it so this is it guys it is a freeware aircraft for X-Plane done by Zebo, and to be fair it's quite good I have no idea about PMDG for FSX and P3D but Zebo, this is a very good uh, 77 for the simulator so without further ado guys let's get it going let's get this flight started my flight plan has said block time is about an hour and six minutes but that doesn't seem Right, but to be fair, block time is from push back until arrival into Kisumu, but still that seems a bit too long. I'm going to estimate a flight time of about, let's see, 38 minutes, 34 minutes around that, 34 to 38 minutes. And our fuel on board is 4.8 tons as per this flight plan from Simbrief. Flight number is KQ670 and our passengers on board are 182 passengers so we should be pushing back just now I have done my plan for my pushback and everything seems to be ready you can hear the noise in the cabin so <laughs> sorry about that so yes I have done my pushback it has been planned everything is on time it's currently local time 0701 this is actually not real life time, I am filming this video in the afternoon. So yeah ladies and gentlemen, let's get this flight started, okay. So we can stop our catering services, get our beacon light on. We don't have fuel in the center, okay. So go back, let me just look at the outside, have my doors shut? No they are not, have the cargo doors, yeah cargo doors are shut at least, okay that's good. So what I can do is I can go to ground services, I can retract my air stairs and then my doors should have shut. Is that door shut? Yes, that door has just shut. Perfect. So I will call the pushback truck from here. Request pushback. Ground and cockpit. Tow is driving up. Perfect. So we should be actually on time for this flight. I did the scheduled departure for 0710, 710 in the morning. So let's see how close we are to that. That's our off block time. So taxi should be about 10 minutes or so, or 12 minutes. It's quite, uh, we are taxiing from stand 4 at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and going on to runway 06 which is right there. So this is Jomo Kenyatta Airport. This is a scenery by FSDG who do scenery for FSX as well but now they brought it to X-Plane and it is a beauty. What a beautiful, beautiful airport. I do love it. So yes, let's get our pushback. As you can see our pushback truck is connecting to the aircraft. Let's get inside. Let me just remove my chokes. Okay. All doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. No problem. Have a nice passenger view of the wing. You can see our navigation light right there is on. And I have the other side as well, which is quite cool. So there we go. Everything is set up in the FMC, in the F this is FCU, I think. So I need to get our altitude 26,000 feet. Just do that. 6,000 feet and we'll do an indicated airspeed of 250 knots but before 10,000 we have to be at less than 250 so I'll just do it to full zero. Just got flight director on. Sides, everything looks normal. Flight plan is in. Co so connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Copy that. Parking brake released. Starting pushback and you may start engines. No problem. So, okay, yeah, we don't really have fuel in the center so there's no pumps on so we'll go right engine first see our NG rising we want it to be go between 20 and 25 percent and I will introduce you then you can hear in the background the engine is pulling up okay we have 23 let's go introduce the fuel Passenger signs on. I 
I don't want the exhaust gas to to pass that red line. Hopefully it does not. Uh, okay, that is a bit of a slightly hot start. I'm not too sure, but I, I don't. I'm not too familiar with the Boeing 737 that much, but it's comfortable. Do we have any fire? No, we don't. Okay, our engine is alive. Let's go ahead and start the second one, the left engine, and do the same procedure. Let our engine rise between 20 and 25 percent. Quite a cool life. I wish I could have like an airways traffic over here or something, but I don't know how to exactly add that, so I will not bother with that for now. Oh, yes, introduce you. See what the passenger sees. Beautiful, very good looking engine. Actually, very good looking plane, to be very honest. but this one was a bit of a hot one but I don't know what the rule is I don't know how I don't know if that like to be honest I'm not sure ladies and gentlemen so if you do have an idea if I'm meant to really how long I'm meant to stay above the red line then please do let me know and we'll set our flaps flaps 5 flaps 5 for takeoff operation complete go ahead and set the parking brake and parking brake is set disconnecting tail stand by so the engines have started with packs on, isolation valve open, packs on, and we'll go ahead and put this, there we go, on, on, and switch off our APU, APU lead off, electricals on, gen 1, put all our DICs on, I don't have that standard procedure, I'm just doing it, just because I don't like lights up here, disconnect, and there we go ladies and gentlemen, cross feed we can switch it off. Ah, we can close the valve. Quite a bit of a plane, ladies and gentlemen. Tail is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have fun up there. Perfect. So let's just see. Let's just look at our... Uh, So the taxi was quite short, the taxi was about 3 minutes but I'm guessing from the time we pushed back till this would have been about 10 minutes or so that's perfect, I did say departure time was 7.10 which off block, so we're actually quite on time ok, runway 06, we'll call landing lights on from the on, yes they are. Perfect, and our passenger signs are on, everything, no lights, no funny lights on, that's perfect, that's how I like to see my overhead panel. We'll just go ahead. We'll just do a rolling takeoff, actually. Don't see a point of stopping. Sometimes they do, I have seen, I have been in an aircraft where they do rolling takeoffs, they just enter the runway and just straight away clear for takeoff. Okay, we'll slowly advance power to the green arrow. Do enjoy the sounds, guys. And take off power is set.
flaps up. I love, I love the way Boeing has like actual knobs and not really actual knobs but like knobs that stick out whereas Airbus is more like push push buttons and all that which I find I find quite cool as well but I like the way because this makes the cockpit look so busy and I like a busy looking cockpit whereas Airbus is so nice plain and simple so I will be showing you Airbuses as well but first is the Boeing 737 from Kenya Airways nice engine view over here the aircraft does look good with that winglet. I 
descending currently at 2,650 feet. That's quite steep. How does it look from the outside? Quite some nice wing flex going on. Uh, just early, actually, but you can't see it. I'm on the center line. Five hundred. Five hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. tower view and just zoom it back a little bit about till there and see how good that landing was oh that was a good landing very good landing I must say pat myself on the back for that okay exit replay mode and let's taxi to our parking Now we can get our APU started. Okay. And we can put our flaps up as well. And light the lights off. So ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you enjoyed that flight into Kisumu International Airport. It was quite a fun flight in my opinion. Stop over here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kisuma Airport and Kenya is welcome to Kisuma. Perfect, so let's switch off our engines. Engines off and we can switch to APU power. If you bleed on, packs off, isolation off, close. There we go. Fuel pumps off. And our NTIs can come off. Your damper off. Passenger signs automatic. That is good, perfect. services set chokes doors open extend our air stairs and start our services on ground 
and I also get my cockpit door opened. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Kisumu International Airport. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified when I post a video. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kisumu and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.